Hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 billion worth of damage. Hmm. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah. You're gonna love this. Bam! What was it? What is that? What cause is keeping his dirty money? Any little tractor scheme work? All right. Now, right here, this is where Kai's home now. Dawes is corporate duty shit. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, glass resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed at Penthouse Suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot thick steel door with a combination lock and a magnetic seal. Oh. So we blow it open. Uh, the amount of explosives needs to level the building. So we don't blow it open. But good, good luck, I guess. I used to hang with some folks that have an auto dialer. It's like a safe cracking robot. They called it the brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination seal. There you go. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. Already did. We just need to pick it up. Well, do. It'll be interesting. Uh, I saw like one of them. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I'll go to the school here every autumn. You know, meet an oldest friend. Go hang around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? You do in the army? Intelligence analyst. <laughs> Putting those skills to work, I see. <laughs> but if you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record, there's an exception to the rule. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little... The safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you were gonna, um. Can you dangle me? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Well, sure, why not? All right. Go to the right here next week. I figured there's gonna be some driving in this mission for whatever reason. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Sasha, Daddy, she's still got her fucking work. Marcus, the world is not your own personal diorama. Get over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could. Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm. My father told me. Oh, I can give you one guess why. You know, when Marcus left the community, he tried to leave with you. Kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. This is like a 70, which is nice, and that's the speed limit. Don't have to hold the trigger in an interesting way. Yeah, it only goes to the speed limit, that's nice. It's really, you know, let's talk about the, let's talk about the... So, your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. And due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. <laughs> patriots. A guy to your arm. Totally on. I'll take this cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies we knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Gone. Nope. 
I should have looked, oh well, that can matter because I'm pretty sure that one car was the only thing that they actually wanted to put in this mission. But anyway, like I was saying, let's talk about the, uh, is this the road? I can't tell. Uh, let's talk about the, um, the gauges, because the gauges actually work in Battle for Hardline, which is amazing. Here we are. Yep. As you can see, oh. Well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal assistant. Hey, Mr. Alpert. Probably. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. <laughs> Where we can, Nick. Just gotta give it a little time. Nick, that's Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad's kind of mad at me. My balls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Ew. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. Wait, Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, I'm so sorry. Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is... Good, because I was thinking that race was a factor. Good thing it's not. At least he has some standards. Or, you know, he's, well, something like that. She hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. All right, can I? Be right stick clicking and it's not working so yeah um we gotta find a way out of here ain't no other way in oh wow what the hell is this place anyway missile silo decommissioned in the early 90s why didn't you just party down here uh, please tell me alfred doesn't have a nuke i don't have a nuke i could get one that i know of <laughs> i was about to say that Nope, that doesn't work. I'm just gonna look around for her. Oh. Hello. I actually. Um, actually, you can read this. Right, I just moved some roaches, pushing me a lot. I can actually read that. I can't because I like sing like six feet away from my TV. Uh. Okay, that's cool. You get the graphics in the game are just amazingly well done. I think in which EA game isn't like that. Oh. Ow. Oh. 
I was supposed to sneak by him, but oh well, that didn't work. Well, at least we know they will shoot us on sight. That's good to know. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we can buy him. I'm not gonna knock him out any. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, he's fine. He's just knocked out. Here. I don't throw the key like that. Uh, one of these, which will do. Okay. If I use these, well, hey, it works. How many, uh, how many rounds we got? Uh, Eleven. Not many. Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. I mean, by, by the fact that I was shooting the legs, um, yeah, it's not a lot of bullets. If I was shooting him in the head and it was a one-shot headshot, well, that's nothing entirely. It's interesting that the engineer had a key on him. Or the technician or whatever he was. The guy that was working on the panel. For what? Let's say if I were to run into these, I would hurt you a lot. Oh, hey, well, good. Oh, that's a passage down below us, and there are people down there. That's not good. If they look up, uh, that'd be a big problem, especially if they got guns and we don't wait to be a gun. Free them or you just that's oh, real. Hold it! Put your hands up. Don't move. <coughs> now let's hope they don't look up and find this guy. I wonder what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Other than the door being there because it can. Are you coming? Or is this the wrong way to go? Can't tell them any map. Uh, a, dark, a, a dark light or black light. What is, what is this doing in here? Okay, non perishables and bottled water. I mean, even you can read the bottles of water. What well, they want you to read anyway. That's pretty awesome. Let's get moving. I wish you need a black light for um per for non perishable goods. That seems a little off. Never like that Marcus feed anyway. Just fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys are such scumbags by asking for shit. He has any Mexican dickie. Some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene. So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. He found his number on the, uh, the ATF alias phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit. I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, I get things to get ready. Oh, I mean, you're not going to turn around, are you? No, you're not. Good. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, my brace is weakened, by the way. Sometimes if I... I uh, move them ever so. Uh, if I move them, in a, if I move my braces in a weird way, that happens. All right. Frostbite cola. That's a um, a Coke machine type deal. All right. Yeah, we're gonna sneak by. How you doing, Jake? Guy, hold oh. still. Don't you? That was kind of. Yeah, that was kind of hard. All right. Alright, we have to get past these guys somehow. I don't have a suppressed weapon. I do not like this at all. Actually, only one of them is carrying. I don't know, only, okay, we got three, just this guy. Hands up. Stay with me. 
There we go. No, freeze! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! Oh, no. Quickly, 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 and random stuff on the wall. Uh oh. Oh, there is my scanner. I'm gonna need. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Your hands up. Don't move. That could have been bad. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Right. Oh, that's where the main mark comes from. Got it. I was wondering. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he was waiting for me to clear the area. Oh, and if you didn't clear the area, you snuck past everybody, which is possible, especially for the three guys watching TV, or a guy fixing the TV while one's watching it, while one's look, while one's watching them. And um, yeah, okay, let's go. He'll catch up. And you complete. Escape the silo. Okay, complete. Oh, wow. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. And? Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, I mean, wait, or we could crawl under that fence over here on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. Wait. If you're up for that. Man, you read. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Alright, well, this is a very open up air. This is a very open area. Tagger. Just teleporting about. I mean, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna go up there and just drop. Since that worked well last mission. Or mission for last mission, whatever. Or, uh, yes, last mission. I think, possibly. Early, earlier this session, yes. Let's, let's just say that. 